What's up guys, Sal here. So 11 years ago in 2011, Steve Jobs proclaimed that a 3.5 inch display is the right size for smartphone displays. In fact, he went on to claim that no one would buy phones with larger displays. Just a few months later, Samsung launched the Galaxy Note with a 5.3 inch display, which was considered massive at the time because most of the phones were around 4 inches. To make matters even more interesting, Samsung also shipped the Note with a stylus, something that Steve Jobs himself had famously discarded back in 2007. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them? Yuck! Nobody wants a stylus. We've designed Apple Pencil. Damn! Basically, the Galaxy Note did everything against Steve Jobs' idea of a smartphone at the time and went on to become a massive success and ended up selling over 10 million units in just a short few months. And this is despite the mainstream media making fun of its size. The phone was the first widely successful phablet and inspired practically every smartphone maker to push toward larger displays including Apple. Fast forward to 2021, Samsung decided to end this iconic Note lineup because Samsung was finding it hard to differentiate the S-series and Note series. So they decided to give the S-series the S-Pen functionality and do away with the Note series completely. But the Note fans were pissed. They didn't want a half-baked product like the S21 Ultra with the S-Pen. Instead, they wanted a proper Note phone with a built-in stylus. So after months of complaining and petitions, Samsung finally decided to bring back the Note disguised as the S-Series phone, the S22 Ultra. Turns out bringing the Note back was one of the best decisions of Samsung lately according to the latest numbers, where the S22 Ultra has topped the chart in the best-selling Android phones for the month of April. As you can see from the sales data of CounterPoint Research, the top 4 best-selling phones in April were iPhones with the iPhone 13 leading the charge. Although Samsung dominates the overall smartphone shipments, it's Apple that dominates the individual phone sales. And that's what's happening here. But what's interesting is the entry of the S22 Ultra in the list. Not only is the best-selling Samsung phone, but the best-selling Android phone in general. This is big because it's the first time in many years that an Android flagship is featured in the top 10 best-selling smartphone list. Usually Samsung's budget phones make the list, but surprisingly that isn't the case this time. And this proves that Samsung was right in bringing the Note back, or should I say, we the Note fans were right in forcing Samsung to bring back the Note. Moving on, we have some information about the Galaxy S23 lineup. First up, a lot of people were asking whether or not Samsung would bring the under-display camera on the S23 Ultra. While well, South Korean sources mentioned that it's not happening, the S23 Ultra will again use the punch hole camera, which is actually good news considering these under-display cameras still provide potato quality. Next about the telephoto camera on the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus. Galaxy Club, which has a good track record, mentions that the telephoto camera on the S23 and S23 Plus will remain unchanged, which means they will still have a 10 megapixel 3x optical zoom camera. The front camera, however, will see an upgrade to 12 megapixels on the S23 and S23 Plus from 10 megapixels on their predecessors. Of course, to keep up with all the latest updates on the S23, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.